Welcome to creating focused and streamlined dashboards with tabs quick hit here at Empower 2021. My name is Ramey Corpiel and I am an implementation consultant here at QuickBase. I work directly with customers on standing up their applications. My customers get so excited about their app and functionality, they say, Ramey, now that this is up and running and we love it, how can we visualize all this information so that it is consumable by multiple people in various roles? This is where the new dashboards come in, specifically tabs. Over the next 10 minutes or so, we're going to take a look at what tabs are and how to visualize your data with them. Let's get started. After the session, we'll understand the basics of tabs, how to create them, how to name them, and how to move them. We'll also learn why you would want to segment data and then ways to do that. We're going to cover how you may currently visualize data, the need for segmenting data, and then a quick demonstration in an app using the new dashboards to transform your data. Let's take a look at how we currently visualize data. In QuickBase, the first level of visualization is on your form. You can change how you want your information displayed by using a variety of options like text fields, sections, and tabs. Here we can see two common ways to segment your data on a form using sections and tabs. These formats are used to draw the attention of the user to grouped data. For a dashboard, you may have been using your homepage to add reports, charts, and buttons. There is a limited canvas there and some customers create buttons to go to another page. You can add up to nine reports or charts on one of our current dashboards. While this may solve the issue of segmenting, it can be hard to manage, especially if you have multiple pages and role specific pages. Many of our customers have asked us for more flexibility to display their data, and we listened. Okay, so why do you need to segment data? This can be helpful to group information by topic or department. Let's say you have reports or charts for a sales department, finance department, operations department, as well as an IT department. Looking at metrics or reports from all of these departments can be overwhelming, especially if each department has a lot to report on. When you group your data by topic, visually, it's easier to read and consume. You may use other tools like Excel to view your information in the form of pivot tables or charts on various sheets within the workbook. All right, so let's take a look at this use case. The marketing leader wants to see how their marketing campaigns are performing. They also wanna check in on the state of their sales pipeline because they are supporting sales and seeing things from both perspectives helps them measure their team's progress. Something else they'd like to be able to see is any relevant information about operational performance. What we have been doing is creating separate pages for these topics and linking them from one page to the next with buttons. This is a solution that does work very well today. However, we wanted to create the ability to be more streamlined and flexible for both admins and users. You can see here that there is a long list of pages. If you need to create a button to move to the next and back on each page, you'd have to update the link on each page. That is a lot to manage. Welcome to the new dashboards. I'm really excited about our new dashboards. Now we have the flexibility to really display our information in a more modern, focused, and streamlined way. The newest feature for the dashboards is the integration of tabs. Just like in forms and applications like Excel, you can now segment your data with one page, however, with multiple tabs. With tabs, you only need to create one page per role or division and then segment out your data. This creates a more seamless user experience as well as helps your admins manage. Okay, now let's get into a live demo of the tab functionality. 
Here is our demo app. Just like you do today, when you log into your app, you'll be taken to a default page. This is our dashboard. Pretty typical, has some reports and charts. However, what is different is that everything you see on this particular page is related to one topic, quality analysis. We have a pie chart, bar charts, table reports, all related to one topic, quality analysis. On the bottom left here, you'll see that we have labels for our tabs. The next tab in this instance is loss analysis. When I click on that, it now shows relevant charts for loss analysis. Same with the next tab for Kaizen's. When you want to create a new tab, go ahead and click on the lock for your dashboard in the top right, just like this. All right, you have now unlocked your dashboard. It is now available for you to edit. So to add a new tab, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on this little plus button, little plus sign there. And what it does is it does create a new tab for you. And it will default to a naming convention of untitled tab. And then it'll have the number based off of what you have created in the past. Um, you see there's three little dots right next to the name. If you click on this, this gives you the option to move your tab on the bar. You can delete it or you can rename it. You can also move your tab by clicking and dragging, moving around in the area here. For our purpose, we're just going to rename it. So I'm going to click rename and I'm going to type out our new name. So we're going to name it products. Then if you click out of the tab, you'll see that it saves your name. You've just created a tab. You can now add charts or reports to this tab. So let's go ahead and add a report. We are going to pull it from our products and let's add this little pie chart. Click add to the dashboard. We're gonna go ahead and click on another report and we'll do this time total number of products. And you'll see this actually using our new KPI widget, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and add that in there. And let's go ahead and add, um, actually, we're not gonna do the filter just yet. We'll go ahead and add a, another report. We'll add our table report here. And we'll just do a list all, so we can see all of our products. And we're gonna go ahead and add it to our dashboard. Now, as I started doing, what's nice about our new dashboards is that each tab can have its own specific filters. Let's go ahead and look at quality analysis real quick here. So if we look at quality analysis, we'll see that there are two filters specific to this tab. Uh, we can filter based off of the product or the issue date. If we click on loss analysis, we'll see that there are filters for each one of their specific things like category, reason, product, plant. This is a great way to segment and filter your data. Uh, when you choose one of these filters, it's going to filter every single report that is on your tab. Okay, you can go ahead and add a filter here just to show you a quick date range. Let's name it create date. And we are going to choose date created date created, date created. So this is all the reports that are on this tab and we're gonna all filter by the date created. Now I'm gonna save it to the dashboard and we now have our filter. All right, so when you're done, go ahead and click on the lock again to lock your dashboard for editing. It is now uh, just like any user comes in, you're not able to edit it, but you can filter through uh, all your different tabs. Um, our product team actually would love to hear from you. So as you're using tabs and you have feedback, please click on the give feedback little button up on the top right to submit to our product team. All right, so to recap, we have learned how to use tabs to give you flexibility in displaying your data. Companies have been using QuickBase to break down data silos. And now with tabs, we are making it easier to present cross-functional data to a single user. 
I hope this has been helpful for you and that using tabs feature on the new dashboards will up your data visualization game. Thank you.